Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Perrin here, and this is going to be a how-to of using GeForce Experience on your computer. Um, GeForce Experience is a program that you can capture, share videos, screenshots, even live stream, and you can keep your drivers up to date, and you can optimize your game settings automatically so that the program optimizes your game for you, and you don't have to play with any of the graphical options so that when you boot up your game, you can just start up and play and just have fun. So the way you get it is that if you have a NVIDIA graphics card already installed inside your computer, then it's easy. You just hit download now. It's going to bring up a .exe file that you can save on your desktop or anywhere that you can find easily on your computer. And then you will simply run the installation, press next, and it is easily installed on your computer by hitting the green download now. Okay, so once you have it, I have it on my uh, desktop here. I'm going to click into it because I'm due for another driver update. All right, so I'm going to head to drivers. And I'm going to check for update to make sure that's the most up-to-date one. So you see here, this is the GeForce Gang Driver, Gang Ready Driver. It was released February 1st, 2022, so of this year, and the version is 5.11.65. So this is the latest driver for my GTX 1080 Ti. All right, so GeForce Experience is an easy way to install your drivers. All I'm going to do is hit download. And it's going to download uh, my driver directly to my PC. And it downloads very fast as long as you have, um, you know, decent to good internet. And you may see my screen go black or you may see a flicker during the process of this video. Just know that this is part of the process. It's preparing a package. And this is the easiest way to update your drivers, guys. So I'm going to do a express installation. And I'm going to hit yes. Like talking about as easy as one, two, three, something simplified, something that is streamlined. Um, this is going to be the best bet. And once again, if, if the screen goes blank or if you hear a notification, that's the um, GeForce experience updating my driver on my graphics card. So this way it keeps all the settings that I had enabled so I don't have to redo them. Um, and it keeps everything organized on my end. And then while I was doing it, it'll show any advertisements that NVIDIA have. Like they're saying that the RTX 3050 is the new 1080p 60 car king. And they're showing Valorant, Rainbow Six Extraction. You know, so they're showing off titles um, that you can play on the NVIDIA graphics card. And um, bringing the 30 series to laptops and all that. It's real cool seeing the ads. You get something different. God of War is on PC. So it's, it's very, very, very nice to have options and this amount of availability on the PC platform in general. Totally different than how it was 10 years ago, for sure. So I'm taking... Okay, hey everybody, I had to record a part two for this video because before my driver was completely up to date, it gave me an encoder error because I was using OBS while updating my GPU driver, which is why you see a part two. But as you can see here, um, you will know that you have the latest driver when you do check for updates. And it says you have the latest GeForce game ready driver up top and it gives you this check mark with the version and with the date. So 
it's as simple as that. If you use the express installation, that's going to retain any settings that you might have looked up and you want to optimize on your GPU. It's going to keep everything simplified and it's just going to make things easy as possible. Just so you can, you know, jump in and jump out of your games with ease while keeping your drivers up to date. So just one of the things that I want to talk about is the ability to optimize your games. So, for example, you see where Call of Duty has a green check mark, Splitgate does not. And, and these are the games that it recognizes, but I can add games to this application. But for a quick reference, I have some available to me. On Call of Duty Vanguard, right? The game is optimized, it's giving me a green check mark. So when I revert this, it means that it's going to take it back to the default settings with the game. So you know that it's optimized when it says using optimal settings. And it's going to be giving you um, some settings that you can use based off of your hardware so you can get the best possible performance with the best visual quality as well. So this is very, very nice because... If you're new to PC gaming and all of these graphical options are a bit overwhelming to you and you don't want to take the time to research and actually experiment and see what these settings actually do in game for you, um, you can use something like GeForce Experience, which it can optimize your game for you. So that way, when you install the game on your PC, when you load it up, you just want to jump into the game. And if you're noticing performance that's not ideal to your expectations, then you can go into the game settings and lower it further based on what you like. But this is a cool way to where your games are already optimized. All you have to do is press play. Whether it's campaign, story mode, or online multiplayer. Okay, so I actually do both. Now, I'm going to go back, and there's something called Splitgate. You guys see me live stream this. There's gameplay on my channel for this. There's also gameplay on my channel for Call of Duty Vanguard. So, with Splitgate, this game isn't hard to run. I can run this game on max settings. Um, I put out a video earlier on my platform with this game on epic settings. That's the optimal setting for this game. Now, when I'm live streaming, my optimal settings is running between epic, high, and medium, just so things can be smooth and I don't run into any major encoder lag or get any significant frame drops while I'm live streaming at high quality while playing a game. But if I press optimize, essentially what it's going to do here is that it's going to make it into epic. So it's just going to turn all the settings up. Because this isn't a graphically demanding game. Now, with Call of Duty, that's more graphically intensive than this. So when you optimize that title, it's going to look further into your hardware. And it's going to see what it can turn down and what it can't so that it can maintain a great picture quality with great performance. So you will press optimize when you come into your titles. And that's how you can get your games ready to play immediately and then all you have to do is just sit back and enjoy so um hope you guys enjoyed this video this is pen sign out thank you for watching peace